Hello and welcome to the Drone Man Scotland YouTube channel. Today's video is about a former poorhouse called Inveresk Combination Poorhouse. It is located on the outskirts of Musselburgh and is now a residential complex called Wedderburn House. But before we get started, here is some footage I caught of a right wee nosy parker watching me fly in the drone. The Inveresk Combination Poorhouse was built in 1862 to 1863 at a site to the south of Inveresk. The design appears to have followed the layout typical of many Scottish poorhouses. The H-shaped main block faced to the southwest. At its centre would probably have been the governor's quarters, with the dining hall and kitchen behind. Separate male and female accommodation were provided at each side. At the rear of the main building were various utility rooms and workshops. The institution housed children as young as 10 as well as the elderly. On the 6th of September 1868, the register notes that four unsettled boys between the ages of 10 and 11 ran away with clothing. As clothing was provided by the poorhouse, the offence of theft usually went hand in hand with leaving the premises. The four boys were given corporal punishment. In the registers, children almost always received corporal punishment rather than going without supper. The Inveresk poorhouse would appear to have been a place of absolute misery. After 1930, the poorhouse became Westfield Park Institution and Home, acting as a poor law institution for the county of Midlothian. In 1946, it had accommodation for 113 inmates. This included, as referred to at the time, eight certified mental defectives. From 1976, it became a day centre for adults with learning disabilities under Lothian Regional Council's Social Work Services. From 1990, it was used by the East Lothian Care and Accommodation Project, and residents were progressively rehoused into the community by 1995. It was then used by the Church of Scotland Social Work Department to provide care in more suitable premises for former residents of the Algrade home in Humby. It was closed in January 1998. It then became derelict and was frequently vandalised. The building was even at one point set on fire. In spring of 2001, it was put up for sale by East Lothian Council, with offers over £3.5 million being invited. In autumn 2002, a planning application was made by Gemcross Homes for the alteration and conversion of Wedderburn House into four houses and ten flats. The building and the surrounding streets are named after the Wedderburn family who owned the Inveresk Lodge. James Wedderburn, a respected member of Edinburgh Society, made a very handsome fortune, unfortunately from the Jamaican slavery trade, before returning to Scotland. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a wee like and feel free to comment. We would also appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. This will allow you to keep up to date with all the latest Drone Man Scotland content. 
Bye for now.